Hi everyone, Hannah here and welcome back to the channel. So for everyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. Please do consider liking and subscribing. I love all things Disney, Star Wars, Loungefly, Harry Potter. So you can probably tell by my outfit, it is Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. So I figured I would show you all the Halloween lounge fly that I have. I've got them all surrounding me. And yes, this is a onesie. And one of the best parts, the hood has ears. So if I didn't have my ear hat on, I could just put the hood on and it has Mickey ears. So this is a similar design to this year's lounge fly that they did, which I have. I will show that quickly. I'm going to start with one that I haven't shown yet, actually. It arrived the other day. And the box it arrived in got quite wet so the box she went straight in the bin now i did take it out the packaging to check because this is not your normal lounge fly it's binks so when i saw the box was wet i was very concerned because oh some cards just come out the back of this card there as well because as you can see he's furry it's faux fur it's not real and i was quite worried when I first saw the box thinking, oh no, if he's wet, that will probably be a bit of a disaster. Thankfully he wasn't. The outside, of the plastic outside part that he comes in was a tiny bit damp. But thankfully, I did have a quick look over. I haven't looked inside yet. I just quickly checked him over and he looks fine. Thank goodness. Now, if you follow, if you've been seeing my videos for a while, you'll know that we recently, I'll say recently, it's been maybe two months now, moved house and about a week after we moved, we noticed in our back garden, there was a black cat. Now we've not seen where he or she goes. We're not sure if he's from our little cul-de-sac or if he's from another street, we don't know. Um, and I have called him Binks before I even knew about this lounge fly. So as soon as I saw this being released, I thought, well, it's kind of a sign. I have to get the Binks lounge fly because we've got our own little Binks. Um, we don't let him inside just because if he's somebody else's, we wouldn't do that. But he's so cute. Is there a price? There is not a price. I believe he was around 69 99 ish or maybe even £74. His tag says Hocus Pocus because he is Thackeray Binks. And he's holding the black flame candle at the front. And he's just so cute. And I do have two little kitty cats. They aren't this colour. The one is like a grey colour and the others he looks like a Bengal because he's half Bengal, but he's so cute and he's Halloween and he has a tail at the bottom, which can clip off. It does clip off just there. So the bottom part is probably the only bit that doesn't have fur on there. The rest of him is completely covered, even the back with fur. You can see his eyesies. Eyesies? His eyes fear from me. So we'll open him up. We'll open him up. So I haven't checked inside, I just wanted to make sure that he was okay. I think I'll save that till today. Packaging! Packaging. There's an inner pocket. If you've seen my videos before, you know I love an inner pocket. Ooh, yellow inner lining, I like. So you can see that inner pocket at the back just there. What's it say? Oh, I think it's got different spells in there. There's cat curse. Oh, I can't read all of that. Twist the bones and bend the back. Okay. And there's broomsticks. There's the book. There's more kitties. Oh, and look, there's the vacuum cleaner and the broom as well. I like. So that is Binks. First of the Halloween lounge fly this year. Whoops, don't drop him. Next, I will quickly show this one again. So this is the one card in the back. I keep the card at the back just to keep them nice. That matches the onesie. <laughs> matchy, matchy. So I know I've shown this in another video, so I'll just really quickly do a 360 of this one. This one is this year's Halloween all over print for 2021. I will show the inside as well. Now I do have, did I get them? Ah, I did. They have matching ears for this one. Which, if you did see that unboxing video, I'd said the only criticism that I have is I wish this bow was like this with the sequins on there. Then it would have been perfect. Still.
still love it though. Who doesn't love a Mickey pumpkin? More packaging. Because I do put the packaging back in the backpacks just so that they keep their shape. And I tend to, at the moment, use a different backpack every month. Unless I'm going to my specific and then I'll try to match. So recently I went to the Harry Potter Studio tour down in London. Those videos will be up soon. I took the Draco Malfoy backpack there. So at the moment I am still using that one. For Christmas I should switch out. But because it was close to Halloween I figured I'd keep using Draco. Oh, more packaging. Mind this one's packed. So the inner lining for this one is just Mickey and Minnie Pumpkins. Which is really cute. I love Mickey Pumpkins. So that is lounge fly number two. And next one. So that was from 2021. This one was from 2020. What was this 2019? No, 2020. Snacks. So they look quite similar with that all over print. Like the different bags from each year will have different prints on them. So I'm very lucky and I've got two Mickey pumpkins. So who doesn't love a Mickey pumpkin? This one doesn't have ears or a bow. So it's just the normal standard backpack. used it. Oh, this one has paper on the inside. Ooh. Oh, excuse me, I probably should have done this beforehand. Never mind. This inner lining is just different candies, which is quite cute. And again, who doesn't have a Mickey pumpkin? That one's so cute. Next, I'm going to save the best one till last, I think. Mickey Pumpkin, again, I think, was this one 2020? I think this one came out last year for 2020. There is another version that came out the year before that is another Mickey Pumpkin. Does it have glitter on the front? And I'll pop a picture of that one up. I've not been able to actually get hold of one of those because they are quite kind of sought after and a bit expensive now. But we'll make do with this one. Now, this one doesn't have a front pocket on there like all the others do. So he's a bit thinner than the rest. But I love how you can see the stitching on there that makes him look like a pumpkin. He does have ears, sparkly ears with cobwebs, little glitter face, orange onto the bottom. Can't remember the lining for this one actually. I don't remember. We'll find out. If there is a front pocket, all of the inner lining will match the front pocket as well. That's good. There is a theme. Mickey pumpkins everywhere. So that is the inner lining for that one. Now this next one came out in 2019 and my best bestie bought it for me for my 30th birthday. Candy corn sequins because she knows I love a good sequin. And it came out when I'd started to collect lounge fly backpacks. So she got me one. And I was so when it arrived and it matches these ears these ears match this lounge fly i do have the matching spirit jersey as well i think i have two halloween spirit jerseys i did do a video on my spirit jersey collection which i'll link down below in case you're interested so i have the uh spirit jersey that matches this and it's not got sequins on there but it's covered in glitter and the walt disney world across the back is kind of in this color glitter the candy corn um and i think i have last year's halloween jersey as well I don't have any from this year though. I figured I can't keep collecting too many jerseys. She says as she has like five Christmas jerseys. <laughs> never mind. Um, so yeah, look at that sparkle. I've never used this one. I've always been a bit scared. It does have a couple of strings here and there, but because this is quite a sought after one, I've always been too afraid to use it. A tiny detail that I love about this backpack actually, the zippers are candy corn which is adorable. I do quite like candy corn actually. I've only ever had it once, but it was, it was okay. Not my go-to candy of choice, but nice anyway. Disney Parks logo, just there. And then the back is just back and bottom, nice and plain. Oh, just noticed as well. The zip has the candy corn colors going all around. So we'll open her up. Ooh. 
I need my table for this, don't I? Got too much stuff on the table downstairs. Normally I've got a table next to me, I could put everything on. And again, Mickey pumpkins with a bit of candy corn this time. So you'll see what I mean as well by I keep the packaging in the backpacks because look how easy that just kind of folds and crumples. So I personally keep, like I will put the packaging back in them and then I just display them on the shelf. Now, I have done a video with my entire Loungefly collection on there, but I did film that about two weeks ago now. That will be coming out next week, um, but it won't have Binks in there. I didn't have Binks when I filmed that one. It's just because I'd filmed it, it's ready, it's ready to go. Just got to tweak a last little couple of editing parts. But then a couple of other things like Stitch Crashes Disney came up. Um, and I just wanted to get those out quicker. So that video is coming this week. So those are all my Halloween lunch fry backpacks. Let me know in the comments down below which one your favourite is and which ones you have. I hope you all have a lovely spooky Halloween. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!